The thing about the Illawarra region is that it's an ecological node. It has such huge levels of biodiversity, not only in terms of the diversity of the ecosystems and vegetation communities, as you go from the escarpment through the hills down to the coast, you've got heathlands, tall sclerophyll forests, you've got rainforests, you've got other woodlands. It's not only the plants that have this huge levels of species diversity, but every group of organisms, the bats, the butterflies, the birds, everything has a huge note of biodiversity in this Illawarra region. The Illawarra is a booming urban area. So there's great threat on those small patches of, of vegetation that are left across the landscape. We think those areas are, are, are very important in terms of maintaining species diversity. Yeah, I've been getting this settler's flax the last couple of months too. It's this strap-like plant here. And um, these little berries, can you see them now? They sort of progressively ripen and I probably won't collect these because there's not that many here and I'll leave them for the birds to get. But um, it is a common understory plant and uh, we like to use it in revegetation because those little berries of course are going to be fruit for birds and the more diversity of foods you've got the better. We have some really nice patches of vegetation and of a range of types throughout the area but they're fractured, they're fragmented, they have no connection between each other. Plants just can't get up and walk to interbreed with their next closest neighbours. That's why when we're doing revegetation we try to link patches to connect up the populations but thereafter it's all of those birds, the bats, the, the animals that use those corridors as well and they further help disperse the seeds. These types of environments here, this woodland and rainforest, are very rare. So unless we can look after them, they'll be lost forever. Escarpment to Sea is about assisting landholders to try to improve and maintain those good patches of vegetation that, that they have on their properties and then to assist in linking them together by revegetation works so that we have a, a network of corridors between the escarpment and the sea. We are at Wandana, Stockyard Mountain Road, Yellow Rock, which is near Alwyn Park, just south of Wollongong. Within a year or two of buying the place, we realised that we wanted to fence off the bushland and regenerate it. You're lucky when you find folks like Carla. She's been very actively involved in maintaining and improving her property for 20 years or so. Over that time you can really see a change and I've seen this property change from basically a weed infested bit of bush to a really healthy sort of natural ecosystem where the weeds are still here and although I like to think that I can get rid of weeds, actually the reality is that you just need to learn to live with them. She's a, a fantastic example for her neighbours, not just that they can see what she's doing and what she's achieving in terms of the condition of her property, but she loves to share her knowledge and to learn off other folks. And that's why these, um, you know, the head of this catchment. Stockyard Mountain is one of the corridors in the Escarpment to Sea project and this property connects with other properties along that corridor and Lynn's property is also in the corridor. I thought, okay, I can get some heavy machinery and clear the lantana in a couple of months and it'll be wonderful, but it was a really steep learning curve and after I cut down a bit of lantana and saw the weeds flying up, I, I thought, oh my God, I need some help. So rang Lang Karen and got um, Megan and within days I had both Richard and Michael out on the property. Lynn's a city girl, you know. It's all quite new stuff. She has a passion and, and is really keen to, to improve the site that she's on. But she wants to learn and there's, there's Carla saying, let's do it together, sister, you know, let's share our, our labour and share our skills and, um, and see what we can do. I, I don't think it was random. I think Richard's pretty straight as well and he's known Carla for a long time. So if he wouldn't put us together, if we we're going to argue about getting our nail polish broken or something like that, <laughs> he had a sense that we'd, we'd, we were sort of similar. They have common challenges and they mutually inspire each other. 
and what we do through our organisation of land care and the Southern Rivers is, is just to support those relationships and to turn up and help them. It's not enough just to fence it off from cattle and not clear it, we have to actually look after it and regenerate it. What matters is the creek lines and the escarpment and the sea and, and how we can connect with each other to look after these places.